Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we're going to go through how to install updates on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. We're going to go ahead and go through both methods where you can install all updates through a GUI interface, and the second way, of course, the terminal. If you're new and stopping by to watch a video today, make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. The reason you want to go ahead and keep up with your updates is because there's constantly security updates being released, as well as new updates to packages, and even new development that's been made to all sorts of different programs, applications, or packages. So sometimes you'll go ahead and get a reminder up top in order to tell you that, hey, I got new packages available for you. Go ahead and download them and install them. Otherwise, you can always launch the software updater by going to all applications at the bottom left and typing in software. And you'll see that you'll get the option software updater here in Ubuntu 20.04. If you click on that, it's going to go ahead and launch a software updater, which first is going to go ahead and check through repos, make sure that everything is up to date as far as the repos go, and then it will give you an overview of everything it's about to download, the size of the download here on the right hand side, and the package that will be updated on the left hand side. So you can see there is very many packages here available for update, and uh, such things as the Ubuntu based system, and even things like the web browser has an update ready, and on the bottom there's other files that are on the system that have updates ready for them as well. So if for some reason, let's say you don't want to update a Firefox web browser, you like where you're currently at, or you don't like something new that they've added, you can always uh, uncheck the box and that will go ahead and remove it from the current update. Now you can also go ahead and select the box next to a subcategory. So uh, everything under here is a security update, or at least the Ubuntu distribution has categorized it as one. You can also select everything or nothing at all if you don't want it. But I'm gonna go ahead and select all the updates. Of course, I want my security updates, but you can see that some things in here, like my kernel, will get updated. So if for some reason you know that a new kernel may mess up your system, you may not want to go ahead and install the latest and greatest kernel. Now one interesting thing that I found is that on the bottom here, where it says 80.4 MB will be downloaded, that doesn't seem to be true, at least it doesn't add up to what it says up here. You can see that just the security updates alone have 223 megabytes available, and then other updates are 45.4 megabytes. So it's just something to look out for, make sure that you're looking up here instead of down here. But a nice option to look at as well is the settings option. If you click on there, this will launch the software and updates dialog where you can look at how your updates are handled. You can see here that any snap packages that you have on your computer are routinely updated and installed. So uh, this happens automatically as it says here. So your snap packages will keep up to date. But for other packages you subscribe to, you can select which ones you want, all the updates, only the security and recommended ones, or security updates only. If you move down, you can check the frequency at which you look for updates. So mine's currently set to daily, and there's a few other options as well if you don't want it quite every single day to check for an update. When there are security updates, you can set whether or not you want to display immediately, download automatically, or download and even install automatically. And then when there are other updates that aren't necessarily security updates, you can go ahead and select what you want to do with those as well. And if a whole new version of Ubuntu comes out, you can even select what type of versions you want to be able to upgrade to. Currently, since I have the long-term support version, I have it set for long-term support versions. You can also set it to never if you don't want to upgrade to a brand new version of Ubuntu and you want to stay on the current one because it's working well for you. But again, none of this will really happen unless you go ahead and give the okay. Instead, you're gonna get a little dialog box up top that's telling you, hey, there's some updates ready for you to go, especially if you have a big one like a version update of Ubuntu. Well, that's really it in the software and updates, so we'll close out of that. And what I wanna show you is also the method to do it with the terminal. So if you wanna do it with the terminal, you can too. Let's go ahead and launch one real quick. And now I have my terminal on the side here. In order to update my repositories in the terminal, I always wanna make sure to do sudo, since I need administrative privileges, apt update. This will just update the repos and make sure it has access to the proper packages. Go ahead and type your password in for your administrative user and give it a few moments. As you can see here, what it says is that there's 219 packages available for upgrade. And a nice note here is that we can run this app list upgradable in order to figure out which packages are available. So let's go ahead and check that out. 
So apt list dash dash upgradable and press enter. Now there's a very long list here and this list is very similar to what you have over here, just a little bit more in depth. This goes through every single library, every single package by name that's going to get updated. So there's quite a few and the names might be a little cryptic if you don't know exactly what they mean, but we'll just go through here and check some stuff. As you can see, some stuff that's gonna get updated is over here on the left in the green. That's what's getting updated. And it's telling you also on the right hand side what it's getting upgraded from. So let's say the Python 3 update manager is getting updated from version 120.4.9 to 120.04.10. So there's many, many packages here available for us to upgrade, but here's one that we see in our software updater. And if we look back here, we have Firefox as well available for update. But what if we didn't want to go ahead and update our Firefox? So just like this checkbox here, I can uncheck it and check it if I do want it, but I don't, so I'm gonna go do that. So how do we do that in a terminal? Well, you can do that. And uh, the way we're gonna do that, let me clear the screen first. In a terminal, we'd have to do sudo apt-mark, and then we do hold, followed by the package name, which was Firefox in the list, and that's what we'll put in. Press enter, and you can see now that it says Firefox has been set on hold. This means it will not be updated once you run the update command in the terminal. So if you wanted to go ahead and unhold, you can just reuse the same command, but just put unhold instead of hold, and that will go ahead and cancel the hold. So I'm not gonna update Firefox just to be able to show you here. So I'll go ahead and act activate that hold again. Followed by that, I'm just gonna do sudo apt upgrade. And at this point, if I press enter, Ubuntu will go ahead and start the update progress. It will upgrade all my packages and everything to the latest and greatest that I haven't set to hold. So let's go ahead and do that from here. Also, uh, if you wanted to in the GUI, all you have to do is hit install now once you've selected everything that you wanted to select or not. We'll get back to this in a moment. So let's go ahead and just do it through the terminal right now. And it says here we have about 362 megabytes that are going to be used. And uh, do we want to continue? If you do, go ahead and press yes. Now, the other thing I'll mention is these are all the packages here named for you that are going to get updated. You can see that there's very many packages and that was all listed out with the other command that we used. And they're all in alphabetical order as well as in the list that we generated earlier. So uh, if I type in the Y for yes and press enter, Ubuntu 20.04 will begin updating itself and updating all the packages that it has available for an update. So let's go ahead and give it a few minutes here in order to go ahead and finish up its update. All right, and once everything is finished installing and updating, and as long as everything successfully went through, you'll be welcome back to your terminal where you can restart your computer at this point. This is usually a good practice just to make sure that all your packages, programs, and kernel updates all went ahead and took hold. And what I'm going to do is do the sudo apt update once more. And now I can check how many packages are left to be upgraded. It looks like there's only one package. I wonder what that is. So if I do apt, list dash dash upgradable, I can see that Firefox still needs to be upgraded. So that's the one that we put on hold. And if you also wanna just do an individual package, you can as well. You just have to do sudo apt install and then the package name. So Firefox would be the one that I need to update here. And uh, let's go ahead and just finish this up. As you can see here, it says that the following packages will be upgraded since it's already installed. It's not gonna try installing Firefox again. It's just gonna go ahead and upgrade it. I'm gonna go ahead and press yes to go ahead and do that and give it just a few moments here to finish up things. Once I get my terminal back here where I can enter a command, I know it's updated and I'm gonna go ahead and reboot to make sure that everything is updated properly. So give it a few moments here. All right, I'm here back on my desktop screen after a reboot. I'm just gonna go ahead and launch the GUI software updater once more. And now the software updater is telling us something different. The software on this computer is up to date. 
So we don't have any updates to go ahead and make. That's because we did them all through the terminal. You could have also done them through the GUI software updater. All you had to do is hit install now. And it's of course much easier to do it that way, but it's also nice to know how to do it from a terminal as well, just in case you have a computer that's remote and headless, because you also wanna stay on top of security updates for those types of computers as well. Well, that's really it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make updates on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS properly through the terminal and or through the GUI method. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.